it's easy for you to say, Kara, you're on the road. You have no home. Your kids are grown. You're this, you're that. Have you ever thought that? I mean, you could have thought it about me. That's fine. I've certainly thought it about others. And I'm here to deconstruct it with you together because I don't think it's helpful. Welcome to Daily Whispers. Kara Bradley just bringing you raw, real, unscripted, unfiltered daily happenings in my life. And if it can be helpful for you to wake up, to get out of your own way, to get unstuck, to move on, to take action, well then, wonderful. That makes me so, so happy. This morning I was reading, scrolling, I should say, on LinkedIn, and at the top of the feed there was a trending post. It often will say, trending post by so-and-so. And so I took a deeper look at this because it had something to do with joy. It was about planning your joy like you plan your work day. And I thought it was a great observation or a great offering. And so I opened it and it was by Ariana Huffington. And she had this article about how to plan joy in your day. And I think it's great. You know, I have to, as I've talked about, I have to plan play into my day or I forget. I forget to play. And so I love the idea of planning joyful moments in your day, whatever they are. And um, that's not what this message is about. What this message is about is that I scroll down and sometimes I'll look at some of the top comments. And the top comment was from somebody who said, it's easy for you to say, Ariana, you've built this empire, you've amassed an enormous amount of wealth, whatever else it said. And I thought about it. I was like, huh, okay, yeah, um, that was probably my initial reaction. My unconscious bias was to smirk a little bit. You know that smirk? You ever do that? And a lot of times it happens without us even consciously knowing about it. It's like, oh yeah, of course, you can say that because you're a size four. Or you could say that because your kids are grown. You could say that because you've made all this money. You could say that because, because, because. Right? I'm not saying we're wrong in thinking that. I'm just pointing to the obstacle that it puts in our way from perhaps learning something. When we throw up that unconscious bias, judgment, ridicule, arrow, right? It's an arrow. It stops us from perhaps learning something. From perhaps even opening the document. From hearing what somebody is saying some wisdom they have to impart. So I learned something. I learned from the comments. I learned more from the comment than I did from the article. With this brave person who was saying out loud what most of us think or think unconsciously, right? It's just a belief. It's easy for you to say. Hmm, something to chew on. And so as with all of these daily whispers, I am not here to tell you what to do. I just share the stuff that I'm looking at myself. Every day I wake up, I look in the mirror. What can I learn about myself today? What can I let go of today? What judgment, limiting belief, unconscious action, habit, thought pattern can I shed? How can I be more raw, more real, more humble, more vulnerable, more allowing and accepting, more compassionate today? And so all these things that come up during these daily whispers, they're just... <laughs> They're like these soap bubbles. It's like, oh, hmm. Yeah, I think I, I, I think I think this. It's easy for you to say, you know, you've 
you've done this. You have this. You don't have this. We are all doing it. We're all doing it. And when we can become aware of it, we can change it. It's first becoming conscious. And that's all I'm here to do is to point out what may be happening below the busy mind, below the speed of your daily life. What may be holding you back, shutting you down, separating you from others. I think it's fun. I mean, this is, this is the, the full catastrophe of being a human is to unpack and deconstruct all of this stuff that, that hides us from who we are. So hopefully this was helpful. Maybe you'll catch yourself today thinking that just slight little judgment. Hmm. And instead replace it with what can I learn from this? What's here to inform me? Maybe nothing. Maybe something. But we'll never know if we have are clouded by judgment. Thank you for being here. Oh, Good one. I love it. I love sharing what is happening and bubbling up in real time for me. I appreciate you. Please share this with a friend. That's how we grow. It's how we touch. It's how we impact more people. Be well. Yeah, yeah, yeah.